Now, Robert, tell us about the amazing story of Dr. Evan O'Neill Kane and the lesson that you learned from him. Well, this is a famous and a remarkable story in medical history. Dr. Kane, in 1921, made an accusation that too many doctors were using general anesthesia mm. and putting patients to sleep for surgeries that should be done with localized anesthesia. He felt that many doctors didn't know the dangers of putting someone to sleep and that too many people were being put completely out when with some surgeries they could be done just fine with the uh, patient uh, anesthetized but, but not asleep. So they didn't believe him, people didn't believe him. And he said, I can take out a man's appendix without putting him to sleep. Well, he had done uh, over 4,000 appendectomies um, and he decided the next one he would do without putting the patient to sleep but just using localized anesthesia. So he chose the patient very carefully. They rolled the man in. He didn't put the man to sleep. He used uh, localized anesthesia. He sliced open the, the skin and the flesh, removed the inflamed appendix, sewed him back up. Everything went fine. And he proved his point. The patient's name was Dr. Evan O'Neill Kane. Oh. The doctor and the patient were the same. He operated on himself. He proved him point, his own point by using himself as a guinea pig. He used mirrors and uh, there were other doctors nearby if, in, in case something went wrong, but nothing did. Mm -hmm. And he operated on himself successfully, which gives us a biblical lesson. A lot of times we get spiritually sick. We have bitterness or we have some sin that creeps in or we have something that goes wrong with our attitude or we get discouraged or, or we get angry about something. We have got to learn to operate on ourselves with the watchful eye of the great physician hovering over us using the two-edged scalpel of the Word of God and we have a role, a responsibility to keep ourselves spiritually healthy. And I use that story as principle number six in this book, learn to operate on yourself and keep yourself happy and healthy by encouraging yourself in the Lord. Mm, thank you again, Robert.